Hello, my name is Seth, and I'm the librarian here at Carolina Graduate School of Divinity. Today, I want to show you how to access our new ebook collection. If you go to the Carolina Graduate School of Divinity website, carolinagrad.edu, under the Library tab, you will see a link there that says the ebook library is here. If you will, click on this link, and it will open up the new interface for the ebook collection. Now, I cannot give the user ID and the password online, uh, but if you email me, I'd be more than happy to give that to you. Uh, but once you have this user ID and password, you'll click on login. And this brings you to the search interface uh, to look up ebooks. Now, let's say you want to find ebooks about the Quakers. Uh, what you would do is you would type in Quakers in the search box here and you can select a field uh, all text is the field that you would choose just to do a keyword search if it was uh, specifically in the title of the book you would click on title and so forth and be sure that you click on full text and that way you'll have access to the entire book and not just the summary of a book once you've done this press search Okay and I see here I get 16 results now if you are interested in reading any one of these books you'll click on the title here and you will see a, a more detailed record um, there are excerpts from the book there is a table of contents so that you can actually open up uh, particular chapters of the book you can read the book online by clicking the ebook full text or you can download it for up to seven days by clicking download this ebook offline now if it's your first time uh, using this interface you are going to have to create an account a MyEBSCO host account and that'll allow you to download books it only takes a couple of seconds to do uh, and I highly recommend doing so. So I'm just going to log in here to the account that I already have set up. And once I log into my account, I click on download this ebook offline. And I can download for up to seven days. Now after the seven day period, uh, the book vanishes from my computer. Okay. Some of the other interesting things that you can do, uh, you have a, a series of tools on the right hand side. Uh, if you are interested in the book or you think a classmate would be interested, you can email them the citation for the book and they would be able to pull it up later. You can save the citation and you can also cite your source if you're going to use this in a paper. You click on the cite feature there and it shows you how to cite this source in the uh, Turabian style. It shows you how to uh, put it in your bibliography. So all you have to do is copy and paste and put it in your bibliography when you're writing your paper. Hopefully this clarifies any kind of initial questions you might have. Uh, you can look forward to more tutorials in the future to show you how to make the most of this ebook collection. Thanks for watching.